not regress. My Lords, having attached my name to Amendment 47 in the name of the noble Earl of Caithness and Baroness Willis, um, I rise just very briefly to make a couple of points on that and also to really stress um, Amendment 48, to which uh, the Green Group would certainly have attached our name had there been space. And really, just to stress again the point made by the Labor Lord, Lord Krebs, that this is putting on the face of the bill what the government tells us again and again and again over years it wants to achieve. So it's simply delivering the government's own expressed desire. But explicitly on 47, I just wanted to make three um, points. And I think there's some very important terminology in this, which I suspect the noble um, Lady Baroness Willis may have had some, something to do with. And that's referring to the methodological quality of the evidence. And I think we, there's increasing awareness in the scientific community of the need to look at the problem of publication bias and the probability that a scientific study is published is not independent of its <coughs> results. And so that's just one measure of the way in which we have real problems with the methodology of what has been published and put forward and the government has considered in the past. And I think this amendment is seeking to some degree address to. And I think also clause um, five here, talking about a sufficiently wide view of the ecological impacts. And I think if we take a case study of this, the way in which increasingly scientists are concerned about the combined cocktail impacts of pesticides, plastics and pharmaceuticals together in the environment. And I'll point the noble Lord the Minister to a European report uh, by the Chem Trust, Chemical Toctail, Cocktails, the Neglected Threat of Toxic Mixtures and How to Fix It, and also independently occurring later this month a launch in the UK of a report from the Wildlife and Countryside Link with the Rivers Trust and UK Youth for Nature, Chemical Cocktails, How Can We Reduce the Toxic Burden on Our Rivers? The scientific view, taking that overall wide ecological view, is increasingly being recognised as absolutely crucial and something that's massively understudied. Um, and the final point I'll make is that I think this Amendment 47 um, really is reflective of something that I'm increasingly finding that groups of scientists, including groups of scientists who you might expect to have a very good route into the government, very establishment groups of scientists, are coming to me and saying, please advise us on how we can actually get through to the government to make sure that our scientific advice, our scientific discoveries are being acted on. And there is a real feeling in the scientific community that there's a real breakdown in communication, a breakdown in consideration in the government of the current science. And this amendment seeks to address those issues. Uh, my Lords, I shall be, be 